Well, hello, Coffee Land once again. Thank you for joining us. This is another, yet another episode about uh, coffee machine or making espresso with the Solus um, machine that you can see in the background. Now, I want to first of all put it out there straight away that uh, I want to assure you I'm not being paid by Solus to do this. So I'm not trying to, to promote the machine, but it's just that I have bought one of those machine and uh, now that I've experienced it for a month, I just want to share with you some little tips that um, will enhance your experience of using this wonderful machine that you use your hard earned money to buy. So I just want to put it out there um, that there's, I'm not getting anything from that. I'm just simply doing it because I love coffee. Well, I love drinking coffee rather. I enjoy waking up in the morning after my breakfast, my, my water, my breakfast, and then being able to make a cup of uh, espresso to the level that I want. And what a wonderful little blessings that we have uh, every day. So that's what I'm doing. I want to put it out there straight away. Now today, I just want to simply share two things, two little tips that you may want to be aware of. Um, and if you're already doing that, and if you know that, then wonderful. Uh, we, 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 we are all doing the right thing. But I just uh, hope that uh, this um, uh, video would perhaps uh, help somebody who doesn't know about uh, this little tip. Now, the first one comes in little surprise box like this. Now, you would have received a couple of these boxes in your accessories package within when you open up this wonderful machine. And inside, it, it contains all the, the uh, some, the industry calls it packs or buckets or, and in the, in the booklet that you read in the instruction manual, they call it the filter. The filter is this little basket that you put your grind in, um, of course. Not the portal filter, but the basket that you put into the portal filter. So it comes in this little box. But you would find surprise and surprise in this little box you'll find a couple of little things that perhaps it just doesn't make sense to you uh, when you first look at it. Well, it didn't make sense to me. It did to you then, wonderful. But for me, I just was so excited. I took all the pucks out. I tried it as much as I can and forgot these two little things. Um, I want to talk about these two little things. And in a, in a minute, I'll show you what it is. And the other thing I want to talk about is the way we fit our water tank into the back of the machine. Uh, if we don't fit it properly, the water tank may not be sitting correctly and it might tend to just fall off uh, if you don't clip it properly. So that's what I want to talk about and share those tips with you. Once again, thank you for those who made some suggestions and thank you for those who have responded. Uh, we, uh, we try our very best. We do this because we want to enhance our enjoyment of coffee. And, um, and of course, some of the things that I say you may not agree which is fine, we all have our own taste because it's such a subjective thing, but uh, let's all as a group uh, collectively uh, share our information and enjoy having a nice cup of coffee in the morning. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this. Well, when you receive your accessory package, you get a couple of these white boxes, which is really nicely made uh, to contain those pucks or the filters uh, in there and within there you'd find there is a plastic circular disc it's like it's a disc that looks like it's fairly well made and this disc when i first looked at it i chucked it off well, i didn't chuck it off but i didn't really look thought too much about what this disc would do and then on this disc is another contraption that's nicely designed to fit it into it i thought oh it's part of the disc and then you have this little two horn device that I thought was a bit weird. It's one of these two pronged or two horn device that it can look quite scary. Notice there are two pins. One is this larger and a smaller pin. And what they're really used for is to clear the holes that's underneath the, um, the pressurized pug or the pressurized filter. You notice that hole there. It's with this pin that you would clear any clogged up old coffee that's coming out of that hole. And you'd notice that in all the pressurized buckets, underneath that, there'll only be one hole for the coffee to come out of. And that hole is cleared by this little two-horn device. 
and all of them has only one hole as you noticed so don't lose this device it just clears all the old coffee that's deposited in this hole so a useful thing got to keep it don't lose it now the next thing i want to talk about is um, the other side of the horn device it is a larger needle and it's meant to clear the steam one see the steam one has one spout and you per perhaps may not be aware, you can actually unscrew the spout, pull it out and clean it. Or you can simply clear it with this device. The, the larger pin would fit the uh, steamer quite well. And when, of course, it's done, uh, make sure you fit it back in there quite neatly. And it just screws in quite nicely. Uh, and it's a good way of cleaning your steamer sometimes. So that's what those two horn devices is for. So what I'm going to be talking about is this disc. The use of this disc is simply to wash your group head brewer or your shower head if you want to call it. You would fit that into your filter or the puck and then you would then perhaps uh, put a pill that you can buy a, a cleaning tablet that fits nicely into the center of this disc uh, and you fit the bucket into your portal filter, put it in as if you're pulling a shot and then you just turn on the, the, the cleaning uh, cycle. And we'll, we'll talk about that later on, uh, how do you clean the group head. But essentially, this is a, a plastic disc that uh, don't throw away. It's very useful to clean your shower head or your, your um, uh, they call it the group brewing head. So keep that and then you would surely would use it one day. So make sure you keep it in a nice place. I'm going to be talking about the boring water tank. Now, I'm sure after you've heard this, you, you probably realize that it may not be as boring as you think it is. I thought it was simply, I just fill it up and then I slot it into the machine and I've got myself a water tank. Little did I realize one day, this water machine, I noticed if that was a back of, if that was a machine here and this machine wasn't, this water tank was not sitting properly. It was sitting like a little bit of an angle. And um, I'm just grateful that I noticed it uh, not too late because it's, you know, if I only had this machine for a few weeks. One of the things I didn't realize was that, notice there are two sides of this water tank. The side with an indent and of course with a brand mark on it. And the other side is there is no indent. Now you've got to fit the water tank with the indent facing the machine. There is a reason for it. And the reason, as you can see, at the back of the water tank, there is a little, almost like a clip. Uh, I might want to go a little bit closer to, to you. You can see the clip here, right here. And this clip is meant to sit, clip onto the back of the machine to prevent the water tank from falling over. Now the back of the machine has also a groove. And when you fit the water, tank in, make sure you put it as close to the water machine as possible and as you sit it nicely you should sit into this clip so the back of the machine so that the water tank is clipped on to the back of the machine otherwise if you don't do that your water tank's going to move and if it moves it's going to put pressure on the water outlet which is just a plastic outlet at the bottom of it and that if you put enough pressure on that it will break it and when you break it you're not going to get water through and if you're not going to get water through, guess what happens? You're not going to get your coffee. It's as simple as that. So a little warning for the beginners. When you fit the water tank in there, make sure this clip sits at the back of the machine and clips on. And when it's clipped on, the water tank will not move, will not move at all. If it's not clipped on properly, you would notice the water tank will be at an angle. And if you put pressure on this, it's just going to break. So a little bit of a warning for you too, and uh, I hope that this would uh, save you a lot of trouble or damage to your machine, and, uh, and that you continue to enjoy your coffee in the morning. Simple, but important. So here we go. Thank you very much for watching again, and if this was, was help to you, click, click the subscribe button and click like if that's how you feel. Uh, and if you didn't like it, well, click it, you don't like it as well, then at least it gives me an opportunity to, to do or change the video um, according to generally what you guys want to hear. And um, 
and I hope that we'll together we share our information and thank you for all your comments. Uh, we share our information and together we grow uh, in our enjoyment of this coffee machine. Thank you and we'll see you again. Bye.